Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Broadcasting live from Powerbox Studio in Ridgeville Corners, Ohio, it's time for Molly B. and Ted Lang. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello, friends! Welcome to our show here on Tuesday nights, right here live in Ridgeville Corners, Ohio.
Now, I know all you're wondering how that all came to be, so I took care of putting it together a little video.
sweetheart, my complete heart, for you and me dance together, the beautiful Wisconsin walls. I remember that September, before love turned into an ember, we danced to the Wisconsin walls. Summer ended, we intended that our life would both be blended. This is from Just Rita. For all of her friends listening in, Wisconsin. you're all having a good Groundhog's Day. Uh, yeah. Did he make it through the snow? I guess so. I wasn't watching uh, if uh, Punxsutawney Phil saw his shadow or not. Spring is coming, they say. Really? Yes. Huh. Just so you know. How about that? Groundhog Day. It's like yes. we're, uh, it's like that great movie. I know. That's why we're going to play the Pennsylvania polka. Oh, that's, we got to do that because that, that's yes, in that movie. Yes, we do. You know, I was telling Ted, the last time I wore this dress was February 2nd, 2020. So I thought I'd put it on again for today. Just thought I'd share that with you. Congratulations, It's when we play down in Martinez Hall in San Antonio, Texas. And so I just want to say hi to all my Texas friends. This is when our tour is supposed to be starting down there with you. And we wish we could be there in all those halls celebrating life and music and everything together. But... Since we can't, we're going to play the Pennsylvania polka. Now, I didn't see everything in your video there about uh, talking about the backdrop with mom and dad over here, mom yeah. and dad, Busta. Yeah. Didn't they do a great job, everybody? Beautiful work here. We had Mary Lou sewing like crazy on her birthday, no less. Yeah. And uh, Jim up and down the ladder like uh, he's a young spring chicken. Because he is. Yes. Something like that, right? Yeah. All right. Well, here we go. Thanks, Jim and Mary Lou. We really appreciate all your help. Now for all of you celebrating uh, Groundhog Day. Strike up the music, the band has begun. The Pennsylvania polka. Pick up your partner and join in the fun. The Pennsylvania polka. It started in Scranton, it's now number one. It's bound to
Wow. Jarrett Yoder, folks, from originally from Archbold, Ohio, now New Go York blue. City. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And this just kind of happened on the spur of the moment. Believe it or not, 10 years ago, I was teaching this young man voice lessons, and then off he took. And it, like I said, it's been she a She started York it City. all. So, oh! I mean, <laughs> she gets the cred. <laughs> So I happened to Facebook message him and said, hey, what's going on? I've been here, stay at my mom's, because as an artist, most of us are out of work. So he came home and spent time with his mother um, in Archbold, Ohio during this time, is heading back to New York City this weekend. So we caught him just in time. Yes, that's it, Ted. New York, New York. Well, Jarrett, we are so glad to have you on our show. I'm sure Thanks people... Thanks for having me. You are so welcome. Um, you are our first guest that's come from the music theater genre, and um, now you've set the bar really high for <laughs> anybody else we may bring in. Um, you know, Molly keeps bringing all these good-looking young guys in here <laughs> that are so talented. You know, the Alex, and you got the girl named Tom guys, and yeah. we got Fred. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have Fred. Okay, so... You're making me blush. <laughs> Uh, like I said, we don't. We haven't brought someone in from the music theater um, genre yet, and I know your experience is different than ours. Can you start and tell us a little bit about your training and what brought you to New York City, and maybe tell us about some of the exciting roles you've gotten to play? Yeah, of course. Um, so there was just something inside of me. I don't know what it was. I just knew I had to be in New York. I mean, I don't know. I it wasn't like I planned it. I originally went to school in Tennessee for a year, and then. I auditioned for a music and dramatic academy in New York, and I got in, and I was like, I'm moving to New York! <laughs> and um, so that's how I got started. That was 2012, so it's coming on 10 years. <laughs> Get my <Wow>. walker. <laughs> <laughs> that's how old these shoes are. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, and then right out of college, I started with cruise lines. Yeah. And um, it's a really difficult industry. You know, you have to be so gung-ho passionate about it because everyone's talented in New York. Because if you're not talented, you you don't stay there. You don't yeah. last. So because the talent is so uh, fierce, you have to work harder than everybody else. So it is pretty, uh, it's, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog city. But um, that's one thing we all have in common in the city is we all are so passionate, yeah. um, which I love. Um, but um, where was I? I started with Cruise Line and um, I did a regional shows all over uh, the country. Um, I did a tour, Jesus Christ Superstar. And he um, was Jesus. Jesus! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes! Which is, which is the hardest role I have ever played and probably will ever play. Oh, wow. I mean, one, you have to play Jesus. I mean, those yes. are big <laughs> shoes to fill. <laughs> big sandals to fill. Yeah. <laughs> you put that right. But also vocally. It's By really the way, I got a couple of bottles of water in the back if you don't mind converting those after we're done. <laughs> Just throwing that out Absolutely. There. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, so then once the pandemic hit, it was really hard for all artists, um, but specifically with stage artists, you know, because the whole point of being a stage actor is getting thousands of people in a tiny space for a long period of time, and it's just not going to be done in the foreseeable future. So we all lost our jobs, and all the work that I spent, you know, um, getting in the getting connections, getting through the right doors, getting uh, being on the cusp of Broadway, and then it being slipped from under you, you know. Um, and also, I mean, and I could talk forever, so you just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> it is an hour and a half show. <laughs> Two hours tonight. <laughs> oh, man. Well, this is, this is very interesting. And it's interesting that you mentioned that you can't be in New York City as a singer-actor and not be passionate mm -hmm. and not be so driven. Jarrett was one of my students that I constantly will bring up as an example to Stop other it. students. Oh, no, this is, I didn't tell you this. Um, because Jarrett came in, he's like, I'm ready to learn. And I would tell Jarrett to do the most ridiculous thing that I truly believed was going to help him without even a moment of doubt he did it. And it was like I could have told him to stand on his head, stick out his tongue, and do, you know, bring his feet back and forth together, and this was going to make him a better singer. And because he wanted to be better and wanted just to give it everything, he would have done it, though I, mean, I didn't make you do that. <laughs> no, you did. But, I mean, all of your knowledge, I had none, and you had an abundance of knowledge I mean, the only thing, and that's when, as an, as an artist or performer, when you get to work with someone who is way more knowledgeable than you, has a uh, much higher skill set and much more experience than you have, you need to soak up their knowledge like a sponge. And that's how, you, that's how you make it. That's just, you know. 
And that's what I did. I soaked up all her knowledge like a sponge, and now I'm a professional actor. So. Check that out. How many months did it take you to do that? <laughs> a lot of months. <laughs> okay, like you said, you're, we could talk all day. You're it's very true. interesting. Um, now, folks, he just said basically he's out of a job. That's why we have his tip jar up there through PayPal. So right at the bottom of the screen there, that's how you can tip Jared through PayPal if you wish. Um, we're really hoping him great success when he gets back to New York and that the Thank theaters you. can open and um, be successful because if they're not successful, then the actors are not successful. And it's just a, you know, it's yeah, a They bring in events. the the majority of the money in New York, so yeah. Broadway shows. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, huge industry there. Okay, so speaking of Broadway and musicals, we are now going to do a song um, from Phantom. Can you give a little bit of background on this so they know what they're getting to when they get to listen to this. Yeah, so if you don't know Phantom, it's a magical love story um, about a phantom of the opera. <laughs> and um, he's tormented his entire life and he's misunderstood. But this song specifically is about uh, the leading man. There's a, a strapping young leading man who's also in love with Christine Daae, who is, you know, the the protagonist of the entire show. So this is just a love song. They're on the roof. It's romantic. And it's beautiful. So we're going to sing it. Yes. Together. Together. No more talk of darkness. Forget these wide-eyed fears. I'm here. Nothing can harm you. My words will warm and calm you. Let me be your freedom. Let daylight dry your tears. I'm here with you, beside you, to guard you and to guide you.
We hope you're all enjoying it, and by the comments, it looks like you truly all are. So we are glad <laughs> to have Jared on the show today, and he will be back to sing a couple more in a little bit. Until then, we're going to play another polka. That's right. Let's go. We're going to pick up the uh, tempo for you right now. Molly's going to grab her button box over there, I believe, right? Yep. And uh, we'll do a song that uh, actually Fred and I recorded back years ago on a, a little double button box uh, CD collection. It's called Button Box Menagerie. I don't know if we have any of those right now, but we, we might have one or two available on our website if you like some button box music. And, uh, and if we run out, we're going to have some more. They're coming in here in the near future. So uh, you want to make sure that you check out our website by visiting mollyb.com. All right, so it is time... For especially for Ray Kozlowski, he wanted to hear the trumpet echo polka. <laughs> are glad you like those button boxes. They're always fun to play. We realized we actually hadn't played them together since the month of November, I it think. It could be, yes. It's been a while, that's for sure. All right, folks, it's time to celebrate birthdays. Let's check out this entire birthday list. We've got Violet turning five years old. Joette turns six. Michael celebrating his sixth birthday. Carter is eighth birthday. Skyland, 10 years old. So happy birthday to all those kids out there. And happy birthday to Lawrence, Donald, Vi, Audrey, Caleb, Chris, Ray, Jan, Richard, Dave, Bev, 
Rayanne, Kevin, Mrs. Lovejoy, Joyce, Tony, Connie. Now, folks, there's 24 more. Happy birthday also to Ken, Alice, Duke, Eva, Suzanne, Steve, Carol, Wendy, Ryan, Tim, Dave, Eddie, Deborah, Greg, Sophie, Cindy, Marilyn, Darlene, Woody, Mark, Bob, Stanley, Mary, and Tommy. So let's sing them a happy birthday. Is that all? That's it. She's a loo. Mm hmm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to all 48 of you and the rest of you who didn't get your name on the list. Happy birthday to you. And a special birthday wish to Dave Burner. Dave Burner. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dave. Well, thank you very much. A yes. couple days away, but thanks. It's, um, yeah, the 7th. It's on the yeah. thing there. But, but thank yes. you. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Very thoughtful of you. Well, I, I'd say a yeah. long time no see, but we did actually see you back. Uh, we played for an outdoor uh, church service yes. not did. too long ago. Or I, well, I guess it was a while ago now. It was September already because wow. it was outdoors. This time is flying time while flies. we're yeah. locked yeah. down yes. here. But it's great to see you. Yes. Oh, it's great to be here. It's just so awesome to be here. Yay! Really. <laughs> so we traveled the road together, spent time in, what was it back then, Teddy? Uh, Chevy Bravo? No. We had a, our first trip out to Branson. We pulled a trailer, and we were driving a, uh, it was a Chevy Blazer. Blazer. Yes. And there we ran we out of gas on the way to Branson. Yeah. Remember that one, Dave? Yes. Molly <laughs> took care of running that. Two miles to the <laughs> I literally gas ran. station. <laughs> literally ran yes. Yes, to the gas yes. station. Yes. <laughs> That's funny that you I remember, remember well. that. I remember it well, yes. So we uh, spent many, many um, t moments with Dave. Uh, everything from the, our experience in the cat skills down in Missouri to Molly B. Polka Party taping. So we have quite a history. And Worst Dave, Fest. Yeah. Worst Fest, too. That's right. Yes. And so Dave was our drummer throughout all this, and he sang a few songs. Well, the way we're set up in the studio, we have an electron electronic drum set, and that just is what works for our virtual session. So he was, yeah, yeah. I don't think you would miss those things, Dave, if you were actually drumming. Um, but we did want to bring him out here today and to have him sing a little song. So we're going to have him sing a song, maybe chat, chat, excuse me, chat a little bit when we're done as well. So this is a song from our 2007 recording. The recording is called Squeeze Me. It can be found on mollybee.com. Right below you see mollybee.com. That's where you can find that CD. So the song that you're going to hear comes off this CD. And Dave was also on this one. So if you want to check out his drumming skills, those are two CDs to get. So <laughs> without further ado, let's hear Dave Berner sing. I feel good all over from our 2007 recording, Squeeze Me. Listen now, just can't you hear those church bells ring? I was downhearted 
good walking down the street you came along and made my life complete oh, when you passed me by saw you said was high but i knew then i'd love you to the day i die i feel good all over like walking in clover i feel fine to know that you are mine i feel like sunshine and spring those love birds that sing Listen now, just can't you hear those church bells ring? I feel good all over, like walking in clover. I feel fine to know that you are mine. I feel like Sunshine and spring, those love birds that sing. Listen now, just can't you hear those church bells ring? After you passed and said hello, hello. I couldn't even move, my heart was all glue glow. I shouted, How about a date? You said, Sure, don't be late. I knew right then that someday you would be my mate. I feel good all over, like walking in clover. I feel fine to know that you are mine I feel like sunshine and spring Those lovebirds that sing Listen now, just can't you hear those church bells ring? Oh, folks. Now, as you know, yes, Dave Werner is celebrating his birthday. So we have a little something for Dave. We're going to present it, or your wife is going to present this to you. Of course, wow. it's your birthday, so we got to get you a birthday cake. Well, thank you very much. That's yes. awesome. My favorite color, too. Blue. Well, we knew. <laughs> we knew. You knew. We knew. Right. Yeah. See, even on the bottom of the screen, it's in blue. Happy birthday, there Dave Werner. Blue, yes. blue, blue. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you, Lynette, for bringing that up here. So, happy birthday, Dave. Thank you. We hope we made this birthday just a little bit better by bringing you it's, on the show. It's a great start. It's oh, a great good, start. Good. Sure. Yeah. good. Now, Ted, is there anything else you want to ask Dave why we have him here in the studio in Original Corners, Ohio? Well, really you know, sad. for those that are watching at home, in case you didn't read a little bit there in the bio that flashed by earlier, Dave uh, played for a long time with uh, the late, great Marv Herzog from Frankenmuth, Michigan. How many years did you play with Marv uh, when you were with him? It was like on three different um, uh, stints, three different if you will. Tours of sorts? Yeah, yeah of tours. Um, Tour of duty. <laughs> <laughs> Great duty. Uh, the, first, the first time was about seven years. The second time was about three years. And then the last time leading up to when he passed, it was about two years, I think. Two, two and a half years, something like Maybe 12 years total. Wow, 13. quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. And he was the original drummer for Squeezebox. Actually, before we were Squeezebox... Uh, when we went by the name the Bratwurst Boys, and then we added a girl, um, and then we had to change the name. The best yes. addition. <laughs> uh, but lots of good times, and Dave uh, resides in Toledo. You have, uh, uh, how many children do you have? I have three children, Nick um, and his, his wife Susan, Jessica, and her husband Brian, and Keegan, and then we have three grandchildren. Wonderful. Ellie, Obi, and Josie, so hi Aww. to all you guys. Love oh, you. there you go. Watching yeah. Papa on the TV. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Dave, for yes. coming on the show well, and again. being part of thanks this. Thanks again. And you two are great people. Oh, thank, thank you, you. David. Love thank you. Thank you. Yes. Don't forget, folks, you can buy that song that Dave was singing. It's on our Squeeze Me CD. You can find that on mollyb.com. Right there, M O L L I E B dot com. Now, Dave drummed on that one. He also sang, and then he also sang and played drums on this one as well, which is freshly squeaked. So, check those out once again on Molly B dot com. Well, Molly, I'm feeling like a polka. I'm feeling like a polka too. And, and you know uh, who's celebrating another birthday down in Texas? No. 
our friend Duke, who always joins us on stage, Brazoria. Oh, Duke, hello. Duke, happy. And, you know, it's his anniversary they're celebrating, too. So happy anniversary, happy birthday. And uh, we're going to play one of your favorite songs. Um, not the Gaido Polka, but we're going to play Aya Sam. for our friend Duke out there. Hey, it's time to hear some jokes from the Booster, the Booster Boys. Boys. Hey, Jaden, what do you call a Roman emperor that has a cold? A uh, sick. Julius Sneezer. <laughs> hey, Xavier. Where did Noah keep his oldest bees? In his beard. Nope. In the ark hives. <laughs> what language do birds speak fluently? Um, Swedish. Like Swedish, get it? <laughs> Funny, but no. Portuguese. <laughs> Xavier, who wrote the book Great Egg Expectations? Mr. Egg. Nope. Charles Chickens.
Jalisco, Jalisco, Jalisco Tú tienes tu novia que es Guadalajara Muchacha bonita, la perla más rara De todo Jalisco es mi Guadalajara Y me gusta escuchar los mariachis Cantar con el ama sus lindas canciones Oír cómo suenan esos guitarrones Y echar un tequila con los valentones Watchar este grito, que lindo es Jalisco, palabra de honor. Abro todo el pecho, watchar este grito, que lindo es Jalisco, palabra de honor. to do the Mexican hat dance. young friend out there. Skyland is turning 10, and we have known her for a long time. I want to say around 2013 um, is when we met their family, and they've been coming to all our events down in Texas, and um, she comes up on stage and dances a flieger lead with us and the pizza song, and it's her birthday, and for her birthday, she won a sweet Caroline. All right, here we go. <laughs> begin to know when but then I know it's growing strong, strong. was in the spring Ooh. and spring became the summer who'd have a leave you come Sweet 
so good. It don't seem so lonely. We fill it up with only two. And when I hurt, hurt and runs off my shoulder. How can I hurt when holding you? One touching one. makes a really good shotish. birthday sky we are glad we could be part of your birthday and we look forward to seeing you very soon i'm sure you're gonna look like a young lady now well after jared was up here because the comments come in much later than when the song is happening i just saw so many wonderful comments they're loving you i told you they would oh wait hold on a second <laughs> there we go i mean it's not polka but it's not <laughs> it's not but i said they love quality but you'll get so. there <laughs> Listen to you. I gotta work my way up, you know. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my goodness. Okay, so um, Jared at this time is gonna sing a song from one one of my favorite musicals. Uh, My little brother Jason also loves this musical, Les Mis. And um, let's have you give a little history about it before we start the song, and then let's hear your beautiful voice. All right. So Les Mis isn't necessarily the happiest musical, but the music is absolutely beautiful. Um, And this song is um, Jean Valjean is kind of praying to God here because one of a good friend of his who's very young is dying and he's kind of praying to God saying, please save him. Take me. Bring 
him joy. He is young. He is only a boy. You can take. You can give. Let him be. Bring him home from Les Miserables. Wow. That was the that drama. Was, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You hear the beauty of your voice. I mean, you're such a belter, and then you come off with a song like that. So, see, look, Jarrett, you can see it. Yeah. Great job. I mean, there's so many positive comments. Oh, and, uh, bless you all. Thank you. Yeah, That's we're so sweet. Yeah. It is sweet. It's nice to have the support. We don't have the 2,000 people in front of us, literally, but we know there's over 2,000 people watching it live, and more will watch by the end of the week. So, um, And they're loving it, Jared. <laughs> loving Someone it. Someone said, so. don't steal a loaf of bread. They clearly know the show. That's so funny. Ah, yay, yay. <laughs> okay, so Jared shared with me his resume. So the first thing that made oh, me God. smile, like, bigger than ear to ear was I was on his resume. <laughs> <laughs> of course you were. <laughs> yay. Okay, now moving beyond that. Um, now the Molly B. Variety Show will be on his resume, right? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yes, it will. So, like, there's so many things on there, like all the different roles he played, everything from Disney ships to where he, like, uh, everything Captain America. You've also played Gaston. You've played... Um, Hello, Belle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. That was good. <laughs> I, that was, well, you were him, so that would be why. <laughs> And the beast you have played, um, so many roles. And what I also found neat was you have your um, things that you can do, such as accents. Now I don't have that list in front of me, but what are your um, accents? So you were I have this. I just I I think dialects and accents are so fascinating. Yes. Um, and the first thing you learn in acting school is how to speak with American standard, <laughs> which sounds very proper and uh, kind of contentious, but <laughs> it's kind of like a blank slate. So. In, in the Midwest, you know, it would be more wide and like, hey, mom, are my pants still in the wash? <laughs> you know, instead of, mom, are my pants in the wash? <laughs> and so it was funny because when I, I got to loving accents in school because of American Standard, and I would come home and I would, like, t talk, you know, in the standard way an American should talk, but not. But um, And my mom would be like, what is wrong with you? Like, <laughs> what, what school are you going to? You know, but specifically dialects in this country, there are so many, which is so fascinating, right? You know, you have, you have your southern draw there, you know, and you better fill my car up with them all, you know? <laughs> and then when you go to Boston, you know, it's like, hey, Fabio, can I have a, a, a hoagie? Uh, hey, I'm driving here! You know, it's just so, it's so fun, you know, and you can make a whole character out of it. And anyway, so I love accents so much, but... And he can recite the alphabet backwards. Oh. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Go. Z Y X. <clears throat> Whoa, we have to be on a, in a key, right? Sure. Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B and A. Hey, I can sing my alphabet backwards. Next time, won't you sing with me? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've never heard it sung back. Well, like that. I've heard it said backwards, but oh. never to. Well, if you can say it, you can sing it. Backwards. Well, this is true. I guess most people are not singers that recite it, so maybe that'd be why. Okay, we're gonna have Jarrett sing again. One Let's more song for you. More. Yes. Now this is a song that actually Ted and I performed much earlier, um, actually in 2020, around probably May or June. We really? attempted this. Oh, we did. 
I don't remember. I had the notes for it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We know you're going to enjoy this one. Um, Josh Groban made this song popular until Jarrett Yoder came along. <laughs> We are so glad you enjoyed that. He's such a talent. We caught him right before he went back to New York City. Now, I meant to send that song out to all those folks celebrating anniversaries. So happy anniversary to Don and Janice, Marvin and Darlene, Bonnie and Randy, Kevin and Laura, Duke and Lena, 
and Jerry and Carol. All those folks are celebrating anniversary. So happy anniversary to all of you. It looks like Ted's getting his accordion back on right now. Because we are going to do a new song. Isn't that right? Yeah. It hasn't stopped us yet. No, it hasn't. <laughs> so we got a request for this one. Um, Gary Mora requested this song. It's a Mavericks number. We also know our friend LeClaire out there, as well as Dana. They like the Mavericks. So we are going to try this new one for us. is an easy uphill believe me whether you're weak or you're strong sometimes you feel like you're back on your heels and everything's going all wrong through the confusion and all the delusion somehow life still goes on i found the cure and i know what for sure and we just keep going different yeah. and brand new for you rolling along by the Mavericks now we're gonna feature Ted on another song for those celebrating anniversaries out there now Ted did you ever officially record this song with someone not Band? officially not officially not even unofficially to be honest not with you unofficially either, either. Neither way. Well, I mean, people have recorded you with their cameras and stuff like that. Okay, so, so I guess unofficially. Yeah. You recorded me, right? Yes. Singing this song. Because I used, I used to love this. <laughs> yes, tell us. Well, No, I just did. tell me. Okay, well, when you got this point <laughs> and your voice, like, cracked naturally, it was like, it had a, uh, I don't know what the word is. Pubescent it just, it sound? It grabbed me every time you sang it. Oh. That's all I'm saying. Well, okay. thank you. You're welcome. So here we go for all those folks uh, celebrating anniversaries. It's a beautiful waltz uh, called Biała Róża in Polish, the White Roses Waltz. Swoim piękne róże dwie Dziewczyno dla ciebie Mam w ogrodzie Swoim piękne róże dwie 
Jeff Chino Kochała, będziesz białe, róże zawsze dostępała. Mam w ogrodzie swoim piękne róże dwie. Proszę Cię, kochaj mnie. There's two roses just for you. No one else will ever do. In my garden, these two roses are for you. All I ask is please be true. If you love me through the years, the months, the hours, then forever you'll receive bouquets of flowers. In my garden, there's two roses just for you. Please love me. Cause I love you Good job, Ted. Well, danke schön. Yes. It's also a German waltz known as the Erica waltz. I forgot mm -hmm. to mention that. And the tavern waltz. Oh, so we got in a bunch of requests tonight. That's at least four songs for the price of one. Yeah, good I job. I like it. Good Great. job. Great. Thank you. Did, I, did my voice crack in the right spot for you? Oh, I was so focusing on my part and cameras and all that. <sighs> Sorry. I'll have to sing it for you later. You'll have to let him know. Did his voice, did, he, did it crack today? Probably a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Ted, looking at the clock on the wall, do we have time? That's Holy Christ. I was, we have more songs on our song list, and I just realized what time it is already. So, you, know, I, I, uh, so you tell me. I want to do. Can I pick what song we you do? You can pick what song, yes. Great. I want to do Footsteps Walk. Okay. Because right, we so have uh, had a lot of requests for this one. I like this song. It's such a yeah. catchy tune. You know, actually, uh, I don't know how many of you folks are familiar out there with Daniel O'Donnell. Uh, but if you've not heard of Daniel O'Donnell, he's an uh, Irish singer extraordinaire. He's had some big hits. Uh, just some really nice, easy listening music. Uh, songs you can sing along to with popular melodies and popular words. And uh, so we're going to feature Molly right now on one of those songs. But i got to get Al Isis over here ready for that. Okay. So in the meantime, why chat. don't you tell everybody how we do this every week and yes. how people can uh, invite their friends and how they can maybe even access our tip jar. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so... <laughs> First of all, right below us right now, it says to like and follow. Okay, right there. Now am I getting it right? Yes. Like and follow Molly B on Facebook. So that's where we have, anytime we get brand new news, it goes on there first. 
It's a great place um, to read it. Also, if you go to mollyb.com, you can sign up for our newsletter. Uh, we try to send out about one a week, sometime with even important things to say. Um, you'll get more <laughs> Sometimes than not so important. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we've ever done more than two, because I don't want to be one of those people that bothers people with news or things like that. But we like to let you know what's coming up in our life, what is going on, and all that good stuff. And that's in the newsletter. You sign up on mollyb.com. Now, also on mollyb.com, that's where we have our tip jar. And you can go there. You could also go to um, Venmo. And that's just Molly Busta on Venmo. We also have PayPal, and that's molly at bright.net. Just make sure you spell Molly right. It's M-O-L-L-I-E. Otherwise, somebody else is going to get all these tips and wonder, what did I do? Yeah. I got to tell you, before this year, we actually didn't really accept tips. And this year came, and this is... The only way that we pay the bills. This is true. (laughs) So Tuesday comes, and we perform our best, and we never, ever want you to feel like you need to tip. Um, We just want to let you know the option is there, and those that do, we appreciate it. But we also appreciate those that choose to share on Facebook and tell people about it. And our last couple emails even said, call up a friend on Tuesday night. Say, hey, don't forget to watch the show or invite people to watch it. We always try to keep it family friendly. We try to keep variation in there. And to keep it always and keep it upbeat and just a break from the regular things going on in life. Okay. All right, Ted, are you ready now? I am. Put Steph's walking with me. sure hope you have enjoyed our show tonight we had some great talent with us once again jared yoder if you want to if you want to give him a tip through paypal 
he is our, I, wanna, I don't want to say starving artist, but he is, um, life is definitely different right now. I would say I was a starving artist, but nobody would believe it when they see me. <laughs> <laughs> but once again, Jared's, uh, his information's right there, jaredelford at gmail.com. And then I also want to invite you, if you would like to send a card to Dave Verner, he said, go ahead and collect them at our P.O. Box. And that's, once again, right there. And you can send him a card. We'll collect all his mail in the next couple weeks and send it off to him. Because who doesn't like a birthday greeting? That's Let's right. be honest. So if you want to send Dave Burner a uh, birthday card, we'll collect them for him once again right now. It's down here. It's further for me. <laughs> <laughs> you need longer arms. Yes. Okay. So we're going to wrap things up. We are going to bring Jarrett back on for a part of the song. Yeah. Go ahead and grab your microphone. We'll turn it on. <laughs> So someone said, is he going to sing a polka? And I thought, well, we'll make yeah, him sure. sing a song he Why knows not? in polka tempo. So that's what we're going to do. And I did see some other requests come across. Okay. So okay. I know we're over time a little bit, but if you'll stick around, we'll do a couple extra in this final medley for you all. Okay. Okay. Until you know what then, songs? I guess you can dance. I don't know. I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know. I really don't. I don't even know what I'm going to do oh, until we start. Okay. So. I'll be starting with the uh, Chicago Land Okay. Okay, great. Don't worry, folks. I'll teach them how to poke before the night's over.
all the country playing polka music for Kayla. East coast and west coast and places in between. Our love for the music binds us together. All of us are on a part of one polka family. We are family. Thank you to Dave, Jarrett, Molly B. I am Ted Lang. Thanks for joining us this evening. Tell your friends, and we'll see you back here same time, same place next week. We'll see you then, everybody. Have a great night, and God bless. We'd like to thank you for joining us our recordings, apparel, and our virtual tip jar are available at our website by visiting www.mollybee.com. You can also enjoy all of our YouTube videos any time of the day or week by visiting youtube.com forward slash mollybee. Thank you again for joining us. They stop to have a beer and the crowd begins to cheer. 